Hi everyone, it's Galvan here. A uh, short video to talk about the Nintendo Zone, which a lot of people are starting to see appear on their 3DSs when they have them out and about. Um, just to firstly dispel some of the myths about the free Nintendo Zone, it's actually been on your 3DS since the, uh, f the very early firmware version. You've just not seen it. It's a hidden icon, a hidden application on your device. Uh, and it only becomes available once you enter a Nintendo Zone area. And what Nintendo Zones are, is they're wireless hotspots that are joined to Nintendo app, uh, servers either over the internet or locally um, to provide you with information and yeah, uh, information about the area you're in or internet, information about Nintendo through the internet. Now in the UK and America um, Nintendo has come to light because of Nintendo are now allowing access to Nintendo Zone over the internet using appropriate Wi-Fi hotspots with who they've made a deal. In the UK it's with the BT O2 owned the cloud and in America it's AT&T Wireless. Um, but as I say it's not the application. If you go to a place that has the cloud uh, or AT&T Wireless with your 3DS you will still be able to access internet services so you'll be able to use the eShop things like that um, however, Nintendo Zone gives you an extra layer to work with, uh, but also gives you the local use as well. When I was in Japan, the, the Toei Studios, they used Nintendo Zone as a map. It will tell you what's located around where you were, and they used multiple Wi-Fi hotspots to pinpoint your location in the area. Um, now, a lot of people are saying that it's now available, it's great to have it's available to have and you can get it and you can even make it run from your home system by making changes to your wireless router i don't recommend it there's no point doing it you won't need the software until you walk into a nintendo zone and it just activates and works straight away um but as i said basically you'll know if you've got nintendo zone because obviously you'll find this little icon here and you'll be able to access you'll be able to go into it now if you're not on a hot uh, near a Nintendo Zone, um, that you, the, which when you try on the software, which we'll do there. Obviously, you get the 3D login, and what the software does: read your SD card, and it then checks to connect to a Nintendo Zone. Um, then reports there's not one available. Uh, if you go OK, you can stay on the menu, but there's nothing to do. Um, if you think you're near a Nintendo Zone, you can then search again for a Nintendo Zone and pull that up. Now the thing that's come up at the moment is people saying that they can access Nintendo Zone over the internet using the appropriate wireless hotspots. Um, this is actually done by, not by um, any clever real technology, but basically the 3DS looks for these particular hotspots with the right name and once it will straight away just try and attach to it and try and access the cloud. Um, now people are saying do it with your own Wi-Fi hotspot, set it up, Problem is, it's an unsecured wireless hotspot. It's, it's, it's one that's just been broadcast and looked for. Uh, if you do that, anyone else will be able to access it and do things with it. Just to show you how it works, um, I have my phone here, which I'll unlock, and I have set up a wireless access point to use. I've not activated yet. As you see, AT&T Wi-Fi, which is the name of the AT&T Wi-Fi hotspot that's being used in America. Now, if I turn that on, and then that will... Uh, set up. I'll wait for it to set up, which it now has done, and it says there's no connected devices. Now, if I research for a Nintendo Zone connection on my 3DS, what you'll see is this will come up and eventually say that there's one active connection. There you go, one connected user, and now the 3DS is actually talking through my phone to the internet to acquire information uh, from Nintendo's own servers. Um, there is nothing, and here you go, you know, found, found Nintendo's own services. Uh, at the moment, all you've got is pretty much them just saying that Nintendo's own, just get connect, is Nintendo's own is available and that there's more stuff coming soon. However, the stuff that's available at the moment is stuff you're able to access from the eShop and it's not really worth doing anything with because you can do it anyway from the eShop. Um, I'll show you when it comes up here if my 3DS stays with battery. So it's now downloading the uh, Nintendo Zone 
pages and content. Okay, here you go. They're currently badging it as Nintendo Zone coming soon. Um, and then you've got available downloads, which are videos and demos of games. All stuff you can pick up through the eShop. Um, it gives you no extra features using that when you're using just a normal web hotspot. As I say, if you use it in a special zone, like the Toei Studios and now the Louvre in Paris, then you'll get more more content out of it, you, you get local, localised content which is good but at the moment it's just no use to, and all you're doing by setting this up on your Wi-Fi at home is giving someone else access to a free internet connection where they can download whatever they want um, without any restriction, any requirement of security and obviously that will ca can cause lots of problems which you think you don't really want to do um, okay so that's just a quick one that's done out of the way, just comes five minutes now, six minutes so I'm off now so see you later, bye